Ooh. <laughs> Where'd you go? I can't see you. I've got a rocket. Well, I've still got rockets. He knows where I am! You lied to me! <laughs> okay, I don't know if you shot or something, but usually he can't see shit. No, I didn't! Look at the footage! <laughs> I, I just, no, I watched that happen. I saw it happen. I feel were, so betrayed! Were you trying to shoot him? <laughs> no! Like, I was like... Honestly though, I mean, I mean, AI in this game do have like a, like a fourth sense essentially. Oh, sense, whatever yeah. you want to call it. Like, obviously, if spoil sport, I'm sorry, what? Kill 100 jackals, okay. Um... If someone's invisible and they're standing next to you, you can feel like the body heat coming off of them. It's probably what, like, like what happens. It's like, hmm. Yeah. There's a distinct feeling of someone being next to me. Let me just swipe the air. Yep, there's a dude there. It's like... It's like uh, they have some kind of advanced alien radar, like motion detector. Oh wait, we have those. Exactly. In fact, wasn't the, wasn't the motion detector gleaned from Covenant technology, or was it just the shields? I think it was the shields, because if I remember from one of the novels, uh, we the first, like, aliens that we killed, like... Well, I don't know if it was the first. I think it was, like, some at some point in the war. Uh, Spartans killed a few jackals, and... Oh, he did a front flip. Um, yeah. Uh, Spartans killed a few jackals, and they took their little shield gauntlets and reverse-engineered that, and it's like, hey, we can make a full-body shield with this. Yeah, and what's funny is even in the books that describe how like anyone using one of these shields will sit up off the ground like a tiny like an inch. Yeah. Because the shield forms like an impregnable like bubble around them. It's like that whole thing like charged. the way molecules or like cells or I think it's I think it's molecules. Uh, you never really touch anything because there's like a thin layer of like either like space that just doesn't you don't make contact or, on like an atomic level. Yeah. Um. Science stuff like that. Very, very smart taking that stuff. Oof. Smarter than I am, that's for sure. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, part of that might have been me, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. I'm wearing armor. Put a couple rounds into you. Fuck it. I've got hey, a rocket launcher. <laughs> 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 I've got a rocket. <laughs> I've got rockets. I can I can handle myself. Oh yeah, I'm not sick anymore. Oh, by the way, in case uh, you didn't notice. I uh I have only two rockets left. We, we got to go back. There was rockets on the ground like four minutes ago. <laughs> Dude, that was me when I was a kid. I was like, oh, I need this to beat this game because I'm oh. terrible at it and can't win without a fucking power weapon. Oh my god, no. That's 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 video game logic in general. It's just like I've got this yeah. super ability. But there could be a really big boss over here, and I'd rather save it for that instead of using it to wipe out the 50 things that are eating me alive. Yeah. Now, um, so last night, like I said, I mentioned, uh, did some Crimson Doubles with April, and <clears throat> our very first match, we were paired against a couple of people who... I don't think they were in voice chats, so first of all, they're at disadvantage because of that, which is honestly, again, I think Bungie should have separated uh, Freelance and... Uh, partner playlists mm -hmm. because pairing a, a, a couple like two randos against a you know group who are in chat together mm -hmm. that is incredibly like just unbalanced yeah because I mean it was obvious these guys had no communication they had no means of oh they do if they, they opt in for like fire team chat but yeah um, they're at a huge disadvantage and so it's two people and one of them was a warlock and he kept dropping his rift and he was just like camping in it basically and Thinking they could it could save him. The other one was a titan, and he was popping up his big old rally barricade, the tall one or whatever. And yeah. the problem barricade. is, uh, those don't block grenades that are behind you. And so I was just standing next to April because we were using the reunited buff, and I was just lobbing trip mines. Yeah. Yes, I'm back on my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on my trip mine nonsense. Back in town. Yeah, basically, and so. Oh, that's, uh, the, there's a gun that's, like, up on a slant, and it's just endlessly spinning. Where is it? Oh! There it is! Found Where it! Is it? <laughs> Look up there in the light! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck am I hearing? Oh, now my pistol's up there spinning. Oh, wait, no, can I not pick it up? No! You played yourself! There you go, you got it. No, oh! 
I thought you did. I saw something bounce. Did it fall? I saw something like bounce out and like fly off the fly out of the frame. Like, oh, here it is. Replay that shit. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah I was right. I saw it. Yeah, just slow my replay that shit. <laughs> just like, like probably like four frames of it just flying off screen. Woo! Look at me go. But, but um, I feel really bad because I was just being like really douchey last night. Yeah. My first, my first kill of the match was a double kill because I granted both of them and they just stood in it and took it and I feel oh. bad for them. I know I people are. This... Oh, go on. Go, oh, go ahead, I'm, sorry. I'm not a grenade. Nope, that's not a plasma. <laughs> You're saying? I was just say people on Reddit are complaining that uh, the fact that uh, Invis Hunters from uh, Night Stalker uh, takes away aim assist. Like you can clearly see them, but because the game says, "Hey, they're invisible," I'm going to take away your aim assist. That people are just spamming invisibility constantly, and yeah, a lot of people are complaining. I actually hadn't run into that. I've run into more people who are just spamming Shinobu's vow and uh, skip grenades. Like mm. that's a huge issue because like oh. when you have that buff, your grenade recharges very quickly, especially if you're like pure uh, arc spec. Hey, stealth mission. Oh, never mind. They saw me. Anyways, it's like um they they just kept camping in their rift, and I felt really bad for them because my second kill of the game was another double kill. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, they, the, the, the number one rule in Crimson Doubles is hold, center, get heavy. Yeah. Like, if you can hold the heavy spawn, you're pretty much almost a guarantee to win that round, unless you're really bad with, like, whatever heavy you have chosen. He lose. And so April and I, like, we'd rush mid, and we'd try to hold them off long enough for heavy to spawn. And these guys just didn't even push. They just tried camping in the corner and, like, trying to rely on the rift and barrier to, like, you know sneak out and get a shot every now and then. And it just did not work for them, naturally. Because mm -hmm. I destroyed them. I feel really bad. And every time I did, I did a little selfie emote, and I was like, I'm just uh, an asshole. Wait, did you get selfie? Yeah, I mean, I managed to pull selfie from my very first, um, I think, uh, not, not Crimson Engram, it was, uh, I think the Luminous Engram that I got from yeah. the week. Oh, nice. It just, I just dropped selfie, I was like, yes. I thankfully <laughs> got it without having to wait for them to sell it. Too, so. Yeah, so. Now, now I just gotta hold that out. That's really the only one it out of the season was a selfie emote. The rest I could live without. Yeah. But, um. I do want the heart emote too, because I know April would love to have that, oh, so. Yeah. Uh, oh, I am dead. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I like, I killed over, like, I tripped over like a rock and died. Hurt butt. <laughs> Hurt butt. <laughs> see, there I am next to you. Turn around. Turn to your left. Yeah, I see. There you. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Great view of I that. so I I want to point out to people I am not the kind of person who teabags in online games ever. Even if somebody teabags me, I will never teabag. Back. I teabag my friends. That or that, teabag trolls. that this is about the only time I will do it, and I normally forget it is even a thing when doing co-op. No, I am. Um, <clears throat> I will never forget. Uh, you know, I sound really bad now saying this, because uh, I also have forgotten his whoa, name, whoa, whoa, whoa. but I want to say his name was like El Chico or something like that. Um, El Chapo? So basically, El Chapo, thank you, El Chapo. I remember I remember this story coming up in one, uh, mm -hmm. something, but I, I, I don't think I was there for it. I might have told it before, but I'll tell it again because it's just that funny. And so <laughs> we were doing some uh, some mayhem Ooh. Oh no! a group, just rock digging around. Oh, yeah, let me get that. Bunker! But, uh, was they want some uh, oh spankers? What I forgot about that. Oh, Doing geez. some some mayhem in Destiny One, dicking around, killing time, and there's just this little just maggot of a warlock, and I use that that phrase specifically because he was just he's just being really belligerent and like teabagging every few he, seconds. He would, he would get like a lucky grenade kill, and he would just like dance and teabag anyone he killed. Mm. And this really bad sportsmanship, and. So eventually, I just kept like owning him repeatedly. I just kept like t t uh, trip mining him and golden gunning him, and he I killed him probably eight times in a row before he could kill me. He killed me again, teabagged me, and then my teammate El Chapo uh, saw him bag me. So thank you. I was struggling to hit that grunt. <laughs> <laughs> my teammates, all, all my teammates and I, like April was there, and I think um, Angel was there. I don't remember. Uh, everyone made it a point to specifically teabag El uh, teabag this kid. Mm -hmm. 
and then his enemy, his own team, saw him bagging us, and they started bagging him too, and he died. <laughs> <laughs> it was just this poor warlock, just eleven people just rubbing their nuts on his face. Oh jeez. <laughs> it was hysterical. I was crying with laughter. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Oh my god. I, I, That's almost as good as like when somebody <laughs> like specifically goes out of their way to teabag and it gets them killed like three times in a oh, row. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Th that was this kid. Like he would teabag and be like, oh yeah, I gotta oh. kill, I gotta kill. And he'd bag and then we'd all just like take turns just humiliating this poor, this poor was, person. Was teabagging a thing in video games like majorly before Halo <laughs> came along? Because I feel I always heard that like Halo was where it started or where it became um, popular. I think historically speaking, Halo is, it's not the first, but it's one of the first big multiplayer games that really hit it off. Mm -hmm. I think prior to that, it was really like there were land parties, but teabagging I don't think was really a thing then. It might have oh, been done occasionally. On the other side. But I think bagging, like in, as we know it today, I think did start in Halo. Oh like, shit. Stick, um, and two for two, baby. Oh, my rockets uh, might be on the other side of the Halo ring right now. <laughs> Oh, you went to the moon? Uh, yeah. There, I, I died, and then, like, there was, like, a huge explosion. I think all the grenades I was carrying went off. Another, like, little attention to detail. If a grenade goes off on top of other grenades that dropped out of someone's body, uh, they will... They go off, too. They go off. They go sky high. I love that. I love that. Like, everything in this game has an interaction with everything else around it, and it's just... It's one of the most impressive tiny details in gaming today. Is even Destiny is the same way, like... Oh, um, oh no. Interactions. Oh, 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 oh. I almost fell off the bridge. Yeah, those um, guys should almost be dead, but I, I, I stuck them both, but yeah. they obviously got along the face. Oh, hun hunters, still... hunters can survive sticks. Well, at oh, least I know. Initially. Oh, no, no. Invisible. Invisible. Um, that actually reminded me, I was watching uh, Team Four Stars D&D &D, uh, podcast stream, whatever you want to call it, uh, at the table, and they're at the boss for this, like, little mini arc they're on and their bard hits him with something that kind of stupefies him for about a minute. And so while this boss is stupefied, and this is like the big boss of the arc. Uh, yeah. And they put a bunch of explosive bolts for like crossbows, like all around him on his robes, on his pockets, and dump like lantern oil all over his clothes while he's stupefied. Thankfully they didn't roll to wake him up from it and they were careful enough. And then, as soon as he's out of his stupor, they shoot him with, like, an actual, like, explosive bolt, bolt from a crossbow, and they kill the boss that probably had, I think, over 100 HP in one attack. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it's not how the encounter could have, should have gone, and it's probably not accurate to how the rules play in D&D, &D, but... Yeah. Like, in my opinion, if something is asleep and you cut its fucking artery, like, its throat, it's gonna die. Like, it's gonna bleed yeah. out. So, I mean, that's why, like, when Keith Reed did a cold shot on, uh, on the sleeping, uh... Bugbear, was it? It was a bugbear, yeah. Uh, I gave it to her, to her, because, like, I don't want, uh, the game to get bogged down in mechanics. I, I want realism to also factor in in some cases. Mm -hmm. You know, real, realism where it counts, but Chad not is our so dungeon much master. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't make it fun. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, in GTA V, you can you can maneuver your car midair, which is physically impossible in real life. <laughs> but, they, they, but then at the same time, it's like, the type of tires you have, how much car, your car weighs, factors into, like, how it controls on the road, mm -hmm. whether it's heavy and stays low, or whether it's light and flips over constantly. You know, a big rule in gameplay is enough realism to be believable, but not so much so that it makes the game no longer fun. Yeah, I think I think uh, somebody from Bungie in one of their videos uh, from back in Halo days once said, "There's a fine line between realism and fun." Yeah, and I think they, um, I, 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 I wanted I... to follow that as well oh. with our, our campaign. Oh. oh, we got rocket ammo here for you. Oh, uh, that'd be great if I had rockets. <laughs> There's a rocket launcher over here as well. Right. Because there are hunters. <laughs> Where are you, hunters? The dog is freaking out. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Oh, you got him. I have no assault rifle ammo, by the way. Oh, wait. Pistol!
I think we're uh, good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry for ammo. Oop, wrong button. There's uh, there some ammo back here. In the center of the room. Uh, oh, fuck me. What made that? Uh, diet, or uh, Coke Zero. <laughs> nice. So, once I finish losing the weight that I want to lose on keto, I'm definitely probably going to stick with Coke Zero. Just so mm -hmm. I can still enjoy soda without, like, the... The, the negatives. <laughs> that come yeah. with it, yeah. Although, there's probably, oh, like, negatives oh, of this oh. stuff, too. We need to... <laughs> Ignore these enemies, kill the guy who's gonna go for the Banshee. Must be the oh, you want the Banshee? To the control is the control no! Fuck oh, you! He got, it. Oh, he got it, damn it. I've never, okay. I've never done this mission and not gotten that Banshee. Oh, uh, I've never had to fight my way down this tunnel before. This will be new to me. It's easy, <laughs> it's easy. Because I always, like, make sure to kill him and then just start flying around and bombarding everything until it's dead. Oh my lord! <laughs> the grenade went! <laughs> oh, oh, Banshee. I wanna see if I can get it. Come on, you. Oh! No, what What did that? What made me hurt? I think there's. Oh, there's a. Um, I, think there's, a I know there's a tank on the bottom, but. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh. Where'd it go? Got him. So this is before rockets had tracking. Yeah, if I recall correctly, Halo came out bef after Starship Troopers. I wanna yeah, say. Halo One came out in 2001, I believe. Yeah, and I think Starship Troopers was like 1997 or five or something like that. Yeah. Because then Starship Troopers, uh, which is a fantastic movie by the way, and actually has aged very well, especially in terms of effects. And I've not seen it. Uh, if you love like alien bugs and like you know sci-fi action it's mm. it is for you it's got space battles it's satire it's got isn't it bugs it is satire of like military it, there's yeah. a lot of military satire in it but it's such a good movie um the the practical and cg effects you know the cg is old obviously mm. but they didn't go for super realism uh which means it actually holds up fairly well Wait, where am i going as compared to like some cg yeah. that has just looks rubbery they did a fantastic job with this stuff and so um there is... Come on, let me out of there. I can't get out. Poo. Oh, uh, where'd you go? There's a type of bug in the movie that are like big black beetles that are they're massive. I mean, they're the size of like uh, one of those big diggers at like a, um, a quarry or something. Yeah. And their like abdomens will open up and they'll they shoot like plasma poop Ew. that is powerful enough to, to basically... Uh, break orbit, or, like break the gravitational pull, and they use it as like mortars against spaceships. Oh, jeez. Every time I every time I see one of those uh, Covenant uh, turret wraiths, uh, wraith, thank you. I'm reminded of those uh, like the butt bombs from uh, Star Trek Troopers. Butt bombs. Yeah, that's what I call them. Um, that whole movie is great. I I need to watch it again. Actually, it's been a long time. Mm. That movie I think defined uh, a lot of my like interests in movies as a child because yeah. I, I watched that movie when i was probably like i forgot what was the inspiration for the marine armor in this game and the marines in general wasn't it like alien or was it starship yes troopers? it's it's, it's it might have been a little bit of both because yeah the, the armor in this is very like starship troopers it's just like a chest plate a helmet maybe some knee pads mm -hmm. and that's really it like obviously like your belts and things to carry your weapon and am ammunition but would not but yeah um wait uh Need to watch Where? the movie again. Fuck. So yeah, highly recommend Star Trek Troopers if you haven't seen it. Second one, not so great. Oh. I, uh, there was like a made movie third or made made for DVD third one. Then there was like an animated series that like oh. never got off the ground. So. I always thought uh, I always thought The Matrix Two was one of the first ones that was widely considered to suck in round two instead of round three. <laughs> oh hey, there's yeah, the I Banshee know. I blew up. <laughs> hey, look at that. I've never heard Cortana say that because I've never done this mission this way. A whole new world. And I thought, Obli I thought Oblivion and Skyrim. Never knew. I thought Oblivion and Skyrim were the only games I could play after like years of playing and find new things. Oh, oh. arriba, arriba, andale. Oh, there's a there's a hidden little terminal thing in here that'll kick you out of the game for a brief second, uh, for an achievement. Uh, and down in the bottom of this, like, spire that's digging into the ground. 
Oh, hey, I did it. Oh, Hunter. Where even are you? Down fighting a hunter? That was, dude, my footage of the, there was actually me just circling this hunter and avoiding his attacks for like a minute straight. Where'd it was you... uh, kind of impressive, oh. actually, if I'm being honest. Come on back down here to ground level. Oh, look at ghosts. Yeah, yeah, I killed this hunter. There's another one on the other side of the... All the alone, so... Nice. We get, also, I think, all I have is a plasma I think pistol, you'll fall so. to your death <laughs> if you go from down from over here, so we have to go over to this side. And you have to be in new graphics. Let's see what this place looks like in new graphics compared to old. Oh, and there what? is a bunch of rockets down here, what by the more way. More detail, yeah. An elite. Oh, wow, yeah, there. there's, there's like extra space in classic mode, so that means the hitbox is weird. Uh, so, oh, hey, sniper. I'll take that. You can have the rocket launcher. Yep. Uh, so turn on new graphics, and it's right here. Ah. Hello, thing I'm not going to touch, because fuck you. Well, it's an achievement. All right. I don't care. I don't want to close the game. Do you want to grab yeah. this rocket launcher ammo, or are you not going to grab it? I already picked it? it up. I've got eight rockets. I'm, I'm at max. Oh, you're full? Okay. Yeah. All right, so we should hopefully be able to finish this mission before recording ends. Yeah. And if not, it'll just be my footage for the rest. Yeah. Uh, for those curious, um, my capture card bit the dust uh, a little yeah. while back. Just wouldn't give me signal anymore. So we're using Xbox's uh, built-in capture mode straight to uh, external storage device, so we can yeah. record. It's actually oh, really not handy yes. if you want to record. And, like, I'm just, well, I'm sure there's ways to record Discord, which is the chat program we're using to talk to each other, because Skype is kind of poop. Um, kind of. It's always been poop. Well, there's definitely ways to record Skype, but... Uh, I'm using Elgato Game Capture, which can record the audio of me and then everybody else as a separate track. And yeah. thankfully for everyone else, uh, I, they just need to sync like uh, Achievement Hunter style or however, where they say one, two, three as they're flipping through menu options. And I can use that to sync up their footage to their audio that I'm recording. And they can just record from their yeah. Xbox. And now that I have this little uh, little thumbstick that Chris sent me, because I'm a broke-ass motherfucker, good to afford it myself, <laughs> uh, we can actually record my footage now, so it's not just Chris's footage the whole time. Yeah. So in case something really cool happens, we both can show it. Yeah. Or like uh, when yeah, you flipped your tank flipped three times in this though. mission, and I got to see it from a good angle. <laughs> exactly. So uh, hopefully our recordings will get better as a result. Yeah. Then we'll see more angles and actually, like... Not have, to, not have to have us just cut to like a random Xbox DVR clip that's like 720p and looks like poop. Yeah, <laughs> we need to get on Angel because he recorded uh, in our, our previous video, which was, uh, well, at the time it's recording, there might be an animation coming out next week rather than this thing, but um, uh, he recorded Wrath of the Machine in 720p. Uh, I guess he didn't realize he needed to be on 1080, at least what he wanted to be. Well, it's a shame. Also, I'm, ow. I think I, I'm sorry. <laughs> domestic abuse! Domestic abuse! <laughs> no, I do love that Bungie actually kind of incorporated the uh, shield overcharge uh, as with the Phalanx's Destiny 2, because if you punch or shoot the center of their shields while it's deployed, or even while it's just in their hand, mm -hmm. it'll feed back into them and cause them to stagger, which is really handy. Whereas, Especially in the raid. Whereas in Destiny 1, you just had to hope they would... You know, well, you have to like, chip away at their the knuckles. Little fingers. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even know if it worked, I just apologized immediately in case it went bad. Oh, 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 big guy, big guy. Oh, come on. <laughs> around the world. That was, that was pretty funny. <laughs> la 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 la. I'm probably, he goes around the world. <laughs> I'm probably going to throw in that stock uh, Benny Hill type music I've got for just such occasions. Is there, yeah. I don't know if there's little nuggets up here, little ammo bits. I know there is when you come through here in reverse. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's nothing I'm up here. Switch up here to open the door. Or oh, that's down there. I'm dumb. Oh, okay. I'm not a guardian. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> jump down. Spartans have uh, have weak ankles. Jesus, that takes so much damage. Yeah, there's fall damage. We didn't get rid of fall it's damage until Halo Three, I think. Oh, I'm gonna shit landed over here. Okay. Yeah. Open that up. He's a sword elite, he can take two hits. Okay, he's dead. 
Yeah. He, uh, when he exploded, one of the grunt packs went off next to him. Grunt packs don't do that in this game. Or some, something else. I think one of the grenades exploded. Oh, sorry, Chris. Sorry. 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 Oh. Whew. I tried to ADS and realized, oh, right, that's not a thing I can do in this game. Well, you can with the sniper. Not with that button. Yeah, no, just not with that button. I, I used, um, I have, uh... I don't know if there's another wave of enemies. I have my controller configured so that my paddles control, like, uh, ADSing and stuff. Mm-hmm. Or like, I have different controls. I have a, a weird control scheme. Yeah. That well, way, like, is... my... I don't have to move my thumb much to do other things, basically. Mm -hmm. The only well, thing I have to move my, th my thumb for is for resing, and that's about it. Yeah. Well, this is the end of the mission, so I guess, uh... I don't know how much of the cutscene we're gonna leave in, but, uh, the next week's... The weeks after this episode comes out should just be the next mission, so, fingers crossed. Yeah. It's been fun. So yeah. join us next time for some more Halo Combat Evolved while we watch this. Dude, I do love the cutscenes in this game. I love just like the depth and the size and oh, like, yeah. the scope. And I do love the, the concept of the control center. I don't remember now, if that's that like an, a... I don't remember if that's a, a legitimate reflection or if they just have like another player model just mirroring on the yeah, bottom I of think, it. I, yeah, I see how the camera doesn't go down all the way. I think it's just another player model. Yeah. Yeah, I think they did the method where they just kind of mirrored the animation and characters. You all right? Never been better. You can't imagine a welcome. Why is she green? Uh, cause she's in an alien computer. It's glorious. Also, her look has changed so much. She looks Asian as shit in this game. What are you yeah. talking about? But she was this supposed to be British. Sass, the sassy hip sway of it. What are you? She so she was originally going to be British. Barbarian, it's something else. Something much more important. Yeah, but like hot British ladies are such a like a trope in sci-fi. Oh yeah, that I think that's why they ended up settling for the American accent, but the script didn't change, so there's a few British words in there. I can see that. Oh, I hear the fo the flood theme. Yep. Oh, oh, we get to the spooky part parts of the game after this. Yeah. Back when textures were no bigger than like 256 by 256. Yeah. I don't think anyone's eyes animate in this, like, thing. It's just they all just go straight forward and their jaws just go up and down. Yeah, they probably didn't have enough, like, resources to actually have separate, like, eyeball objects. Cause eyeballs are one of the highest poly things on, like, a face, typically. Because they have to be round, because when well, they're round, it shows up I think, and, and I think up until, stuff. like, even through some Xbox 360 games, they were just, like, All right, 12 that's, that's a cutscene mission. Sorry we talked over it. See you guys next time. All right, bye!